Alright, welcome back to the part 43, and, uh, I'll get into the assignments just a moment, but right, for right now I'm gonna read about, I'm gonna read some responses about the dropping bomb, what would you, what would you have done, um, cause I read some people's above, alright, so, okay, so this is Emmy's response, and I'm gonna read his first. Okay, so Emmy's response was, based on Japan's plan to keep on fighting, I would have dropped the bombs. I believe President Truman made the best decision as a leader of the U.S. since the first priority to, is to protect American lives. Japan thought that the invasion was approaching and started to train civilians and even children to attack any invaders. A land invasion would have caused at many American casualties. It would have. It also would have caused psychological problems for many soldiers, since they would most. They would have like mostly, like to have how to have how to how to kill children, how to kill like women and children. In addition, properly. By dropping the bombs, President Truman was able to save thousands of American soldiers. Soldiers, and make Japan surrender pretty fast. Lastly, another reason why it was best to drop the bombs was because it warned other countries of the power the U.S. possessed and cautioned them by other damage they would sustain if ever messed with us. All right. All right. So Cade's response is. If I were President Truman, I would have dropped the atomic bomb. First, the technology was being developed elsewhere. In fact, it was Germans took that first split uranium, but it had to be demonstrated that the U.S. had the capability to make these weapons. If some kids is, um, not, not like kids, but wedges, some wedges that can be described for... For some splits that can be come, um, like some kids, um, most most kids, um, some kids like uh, most kids, some or most kids have like have the problems like they're still trying to know what it actually meant for split or uranium. They're still trying to learn that for kids aged to sixteen to twenty. Which is like a sophomore and like a, or or a college student, can be one of those. If you're like a sophomore or a college student, then you can probably know what what the full definition actually meant. You can actually know this around. You can actually know this through. Um, you can actually know this whenever you. Uh, you can actually know populations. That what the U.S. is actually meant to be. It okay. So, in fact, it was the Germans that first split uranium. It had to be demonstrated that the U.S. had a bit had the capability to make the weapons. These weapons. However, I would not have chosen dense civilian populations as a target. Dropping a bombs on a location of military importance to Japan. But not highly populated would have been a better choice, in my opinion. Yeah, this guy on the internet, this guy's an attention seeker, isn't he? I never, I never liked him to begin with. He was always a pain to be asked to me. But anyways, I'm gonna read uh, Annabelle's response. Okay, so Annabelle's response was most likely, I would have warned the Japanese leaders about the bomb and explained in detail the results. This way, they would had ha have had the time to take in MND and their citizens in their country, as well as think about the effects it would have on the war on their land for future generations. P pardon me. It'll, it would also be the way for America to still demonstrate their power had the Japan's leaders known about the bomb in detail. I believe they would H equals have realized the effects of the bomb and how they would not be, have been 
able to win the war against the, such a weapon. So, um, okay, um, okay, so I'm gonna read, uh, Briley's response. I show the Briley the, the, the peep. I, I showed you guys on Snapchat, um, oh, somebody, take your time to, take your time what those words actually meant. What do you think of Bradley's response? The, the, um, what do you think of, uh, what do you think of, the uh, the student's response? Let me know in the comments. Is that, that there's a zinc that cute dog sorry I'm just looking around guys on my snapchat I was just making sure gonna look at Instagram I'm not gonna play any copyright music cuz I know that's gonna you know affect my video um, Thank you guys. Um, I wish you the. I'm gonna open on a uh, camera if you don't mind. If you don't mind. Okay, so there's that video that I made. Um, well, not the video, but there's some. There's a. Uh, there's. This guy probably goes to your school. Um, which is says uh, Mason. Um, it actually says, like, um, I've never seen this kid before, so it, actually, it's really, um, yeah, I actually never seen him around, but, like, he's actually, I actually found him pretty interesting, so, he's not that bad. i never seen him as a person, but I wish I could, but I wish I can, uh, you know, introduce myself. I don't mind doing that for different types, but, I mean, it's it's all that I can actually know for, is, all in general, I actually add those kind of stereotypes and responses that are related to those kind of topic ways. Okay, so, if I were President Truman, I would have warned Japan about the powerful effects of the, of the bomb and explained what was the project to, to happen. With this said, I would have been ready to drop the bomb. Then if the Japanese leaders had a negative reaction, I wouldn't want them to give them time to applaud something to stop do, stop us or do the country, due to our country. Sorry. I think the bomb caused so much destruction that if warned, Japanese leaders may have been able to avoid the loss by surrendering the, to the U.S. ahead of time, and they didn't cooperate. The effects of a bomb would have been worse if the Japan, Japanese government had a chance to, re, to repair that, but it didn't. I'm just drinking me a spray. That's all about it. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, so I'm gonna read uh, Hallie, Hallie's response. Hallie um, had that previous response. I'm gonna go to her page again. Hallie's response was, "I would have dropped the the atomic bomb. You didn't put any effort." Here's Hallie's new effort. I would have warned them about the bomb because it was because it is so destructive. Hell, you need to add your space. But it's okay, I can still read you like that. Warning them about the bomb may have been, may, they may have, may have them, may, may, may have made them surrender, dropping it because it causes so much damage. It's only asking for waiting for some, for something back. If nothing was done on here, their part, I would have dropped the bomb. But your response was, 
the, but your first response was like, I would have dropped the atomic bomb, not the real bomb, though. Even though it actually says that. So, don't judge her, please. No judgments. Alright, Grace's response was, I would have warned Japan about the atomic bomb. I think this is fair because it gives them time to figure out the plan in order to do something back to, to the United States. Also, considering how deadly the atomic bomb is, they maybe may maybe deserved a fair warning that is completely relying to their city. Okay, so I have this um there are some GTA videos. Um Yeah, I'm just checking my channel in general, but I um yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna read um the page I was just on. I'm gonna open the, the World War II Battle Stations. I'm gonna read the rest of this if you don't mind. Um, number one, Normandy Invasion. The Battle of Normandy, which lasted from June 1944 to August 1944, resulted in the Allied Revolution of the Western Europe for Nazi Germany's control. Codenamed Operation Overlord, the battle began on June 6, 1994, 19, no, I'm sorry, June 6, 1944, also known as D-Day, when some 156,000 American, like British and Canadian forces landed on five beaches along a 50-mile stretch of the heavily four, fortified coast of France, Normandy region. The the invasion was only the only one of the largest amphi amphibious military assaults in history and required extensive planning prior to D Day. The Allies conducted on a large scale deception campaign decide, designed to mislead the Germans about the intended invasion target. By late August nineteen forty four, all the northern France has been liberated and by the following spring the Allies had defeated the Germans. The Normandy landing, landings has been called the beginning of the end of the war in Europe. You guys, you guys want to hear my satisfying sound? Yeah, it's so satisfying, isn't it? Even it's clapping hands. Even though it's like tipping over again. It was like a coin, but it's, it's actually two caps that are kept from the soda bottle, which is completely it. All right. Here's what the picture looks like. I had to get the stuff done fast before I ran out of time. Sorry about them. Um, I have a lot of editing to do this time today, actually. Um, even though I'm gonna get tired, but okay. It's number two, Battle of Tarawa. Tarawa. In the Battle of Tarawa, November 20 to 23, 1943, during World War II, 1945 to 45, the U.S. began, in, in, began its Central Pacific campaign against Japan by seizing the heavily fortified Japanese held island of Betsuya and Tarawa, Atoll and Gilbert Islands. The 18,000s U.S. Marines sent to the tiny Betia were expected to easily secure it. However, problems quickly arose. Low tides prevented some U.S. landing facts in the U.S. Landing, uh, some landing facts that can be described. Like, um, some landing crafts for clearing the coral reefs that rang to the, rang to the island. 
Japanese coastal guns pounded and snagged vessels in desperate. Marines gave a bone of, of on freeing, freeing the boats and instead waded toward shore. Hundreds of yards away, through chest deep water amidst, 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 sorry, amidst enemy fire. Despite heavy resistance from 4,500 Japanese troops dug in the Batio, the Marines finally took of the island after a bloody 76-hour battle in which both sides suffered heavy, heavy casual, ca casual, casualties. So here's what happened. Yeah, it looks a little bit dirty, but they got it all covered now. Like a long time ago, actually. Number three, Battle of the Guadalcanal. Canal. The World War II Battle of Guadalcanal Canal was the first major offensive and a decisive, decisive victory for the Allies of the Pacific Theater, with Japanese troops stationed in this section of Sol Solomon Islands. U.S. Marines launched a surprise attack uh, in August. 1942 and took control of an airbase under construction. Reinforcements were funneled to the island as, uh, as a series of land and sea clashes unfolded. Both sides endured heavy losses to their warship con 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 contingents. However, the Japanese suffered a far greater toll of casualties, forcing their withdrawal for Gu Guado Canal by February 1943. So here's what happened recently. Battle of the, Br Battle of the Bulge, which is part four. From December 1944 to 1945 of January, Adolf Hitler attempted to split the all Allied armies and in Northwest Europe, in Northwest Europe, by means of surprising Blitzkrieg, thrust through the Ardennes, forced Germany to Ant Antwerp. Belgium caught off guard. American units fought desperate battles to stem the German advance at Saint with El El Elsenborn Bridge, half lies, and Bastogne as the Germans drove deeper into the Ardennes into an attempt to secure vital bridgeheads. The Allied line took on the appearance of a large bulge, giving rise to the battle's name. A Tunian, Le Le Lieutenant General George S. Patton's successful maneuvering of the Third Army's Third Army of Bast Bastogne probed vital up to, al to the Allied defense leading to the neutralization of the Germans counteroffensive despite heavy casualties. So this is what happened previously. This this is what that this is what he's trying to do here. But it explains that story that I just read. I'm gonna do more ASMR. This is like an ASMR on part forty three, but on the part forty four is where I tell more description about those things. Yeah, it's more is really satisfying. I'm having a Sour Patch Kids with um, the the Conversation Heart Candy SMH. That's what I'm having right now. That green one. 
Mmm, so sour right now. Battle of Stalingrad. Number five. I'm gonna check on you two real quick. I know I have a lot of, um, uh, you know, um, had a lot of, um, videos that. I'm just watching one of the GTA San Andreas quotes. They're pretty hilarious. I usually see them whenever I feel like it. I usually see them whenever I, you know, wherever I want to. Battle of Stalingrad, July 17th, 1942 to February 2nd, 1943. With the successful Soviet defense of the city of Stalingrad, now Volgograd, and the USSR during World War II, Russians considered to be the greatest battle of the, their great patriotic war. And most histor historians consider it to be the greatest battle to, of the entire conflict. It stopped the German advance into the Soviet Union as March is the turning of the tide of war in favor of the Allies. The Battle, the battle of the Stalingrad was one of the bloodiest battles in history, with common military and civilian casualties of nearly 2 million. This is what they're doing right there. Yeah. Military have nearly gave it in calm mind. Oh, sorry about that. We had 11, right? Yeah. I'm going to say the part for part 44. Number six, Battle of Berlin. The last major offensive of the war in Europe for April 16, 1945. May 2, 1945, the Battle of Berlin saw the fall of the German army. But no side of Hitler and the beginning of the end of the Second World War, the inexorable push of the, of the Soviet army westward traveled in advance of as much as 25 miles a day. Before stopping, just like, 35 miles east of the German capital. The Red right Army then proceeded to attack the city for east and south, while Third Group devastated German defenses from the north. Relentless so so Soviet Army marched ever onwards, causing, causing widespread panic in the already depleted German defenses, bolstered by experienced like inexperienced Hitler youth members, and falling fears of a bloody fighting, took the Reichstag on the 30th of April 1945, more or less signaling the conclusion of the war. This is a soldier um, holding a red flag. There's a soldier watching. This reminds me of Call of Duty. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'll see you guys on part 45.